and hello everyone welcome back to a new video so last time we talked about arrays and I told you that it can be used to store a few things such as names age the size of things you know it can be used for a lot of things so what I'm going to do uh, because we're going to declare it for the first time so while I'm going to declare it I'm going to kind of explain more on what we did last time now what you want to do is you want to just double click on that button and here in the private section this is where you would declare an array so how you declare it is usually by starting with R to tell yourself it is an array then giving it a name such as monsters because we're going to store monsters inside of it you're gonna say it's an array and how many things are going to be inside of the array now in some programming languages such as Delphi and Java in some cases if you decide you want to set a specific value you have to give it a number from where to where we'll start from 1 and it will end at 5 that's an example now of course you can have more than you need so we're gonna start one you can have a hundred if you want the only thing about this is that you have to keep in mind the more you have the longer it will take to go through the array if you're going to look through the array and there's a thousand things in that array it's going to take significantly longer than what it would have taken if there was only five things because even if there's nothing in the rest of the array it's still going to try to loop through them trying to find something extra because you can have something in index 1 and then something in index 3 just keep that in mind we're going to have 5 monsters nothing more 5 should be enough and then you have to say of what type of is type it is is it an integer is it a real is it a string we're going to say the type of monster for example is it a zombie is it a vampire something like that so of string that is how you declare an array basically feel free free to press ctrl D so now we can start populating the array that is that means putting something inside of the array so we can do something such as r monsters and then you have to declare the index like where are you going to put it in is it going to be inside of index 1 the first one and five the last one so we're going to go one because we want to put, make the very first one we want to make that a monster so we can go becomes and then whatever the monster should be in this case so we can go zombie now we have one thing in this array it can hold up until five things so let's just for now go show message so this is going to um, display what in position 1 is and in this case it is zombie perfect now what if we were to make this position 2 there's nothing in position 2 though so let's see what will we get we get nothing because it results into an empty string this is what I meant when I said you should not have more than you initially had you know like if you or you should not have less than you actually said you're going to have unless you don't know if it might increase later and it has a chance of increasing later don't um, make it too big because then there's just going to be like five monsters and then 95 empty strings so just keep that in mind also if you go into a number that doesn't exist you'll also get an error because that number doesn't exist same if we do six right now because six doesn't exist we said up until five from one to five 
So, what can we do now? Now we can add more monsters. So now we have two monsters. Now if you were to make a game, this would mean that there are now, now two monsters in your game. Whether this is monsters the characters can be or should fight, that's up to you. Let's say you're making a menu, then you have your options stored in an array. Bad example actually, but you know. So then we can go our monsters and we can go free and that can become women because we all believe women are quite monsters sometimes so what we can before we, for I which we should declare up here so I as an integer becomes one to the length of our monsters begin. So then we can just copy these two and just fill it up with five monsters. So now we have our five monsters. Now we're going to loop through it from position one to the length of our monsters, which is one, two, three, four, five. Exactly why it starts at one in Delphi to make it easy for beginners. So if we're going to run it. We can see it displays all of the monsters we've added, all of the things inside of the array. So what this will do is this will, if you were to program this into something, this will allow you to go into your RAM, get something from the RAM which is in the array, quickly pull it out and use it. This is a lot faster than storing something inside of a text file and trying to get it outside of the text file. If you know the, the difference between, or, um, between RAM and storage, like normal hard drive storage, if you know the difference in speed, you can kind of compare it here because this is inside of the RAM, so this will use the RAM speed, the very fast speed you get. And a text file would use something as the hard drive speed, so it's going to have to like move it from the hard drive, you know. So yeah, that's how you make an array. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all learned something new and see you all in the next video.